Uh, you're watching Great Day Colorado. I'm Chris Tomer. And I'm Spencer Thomas. All right, you guys, something really exciting is happening in Denver tomorrow. It's called Feast from the East. It's a collaboration dinner event hosted by Chef Troy Gard, the one and only. He's iconic. He invited two chefs, both James Beard winning semifinalists, to his award winning Gard and Grace Steakhouse in downtown Denver. Yeah, so together they're preparing a special six course uh, different meal with a family style feast, traditional Korean, Chinese New Year dishes. It's all part of a special Lunar New New Year benefiting Roundup River Ranch here in Colorado. GDC's Cheryl Wong is live at Garden Grace this morning to give us a sneak peek. Hey Cheryl, how's it going? Hey, good morning guys. It is such a beautiful morning when you can start the day off with incredible chef inspired foods. Hello. Yes, we're live at Garden Grace and we're talking all about the feast from the east. I'm here with the incredible lineup of guests. Uh, our wonderful chef uh, Troy Gard, uh, Danny Lee and Scott Druno here yes, who are uh, hosting this event tomorrow. So let's start with you, Troy. Okay. What is this uh, event all about? So we've been in Denver 13 years now doing Tag, Garden Grace, all our great restaurants. And uh, I like to do guest chef events. It's fun for the kitchen crew. It's fun for the staff. It's fun for um, our regular guests. And so uh, our new CEO, James Park, said, hey, I got two great guys from D.C. <laughs> and we're right. looking at them. I mean, look at, look at how handsome these guys are, right? Oh. We have Chef Scott and Chef Danny. Uh, and luckily, the East Coast has been a little bit cold, so they're used to this cold weather, but it is cold here. But we're sure. super excited. They have killer food. I love Asian food, Asian-inspired food, but they'll tell you all about it, but we're super excited. So incredible. This is also a collaboration with what's called the Fried Rice Collective. For those people who are not um, aware of what that is, can you tell me a little bit more about that? Sure. Danny and I started a company uh, about five and a half years ago called the Fried Rice Collective. Uh, we're a full service hospitality company that has uh, restaurants, catering. Um, we have two restaurant concepts, one called Chaika, which is simply short for Chinese Korean. It's fast casual. Um, <clears throat> we do all sorts of dumplings and noodle stir fries and uh, a lot of fun dishes. And then we have uh, another restaurant called Anju, which Danny will tell us about. Yeah. So Anju uh, literally translates to food meant to be consumed while drinking alcohol. Uh, Scott and I like to do both. So oh the, the I know what that is too because I'm also Korean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, Anju has been open since uh, the summer of 2019. And we uh, it's, it's all about kind of the Korean heritage and, and Korean cuisine from all facets going from centuries old recipes all the way to modern street food. It's kind of our homage to Korean cuisine at Anju in DC. Oh, incredible. Without further ado, can we talk a little bit about the food that we have in front of us? Well, these are just a couple of the, one is the octopus. That's a regular on the Garden Grace uh, menu. We're still working on all the great dishes for tomorrow. This is one of the dishes. It'll be a seafood dumpling. It's just going to be a little bite size um, taster. And tomorrow night for the cocktail hour, you get two cocktails, one from the fried rice, one from the Garden Grace, and then four different bites, two from them, two for us. That's awesome. Then you're going to sit down and have a six course family style shared meal that they can share a little bit of their dishes. But what we're going to do is a char siu style pork belly uh, with tea smoked eggs, kind of Chinese style. I was lived in Hong Kong for three years, so I love that kind of stuff. And then um, we're going to do kind of a Thai style steamed fish with a tamarind vinaigrette. And then our pastry chef made four delectable tasting um, uh, petty fours for dessert, some with lemongrass, some with uh, kefir lime and all kinds of fun stuff. But these guys are going to talk about some killer dishes and I can't wait to eat the Peking duck. Yes. So we're oh. doing duck, which I'm really excited about. We have um, a great farm that we use in Pennsylvania. So I've put a whole bunch of ducks in my suitcase and I brought them out here. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, you wish. <laughs> we, we, we shipped them out here, but uh, a really great farm called uh, Dr. Joe Jurgowitz Farm. And uh, they have beautiful white Peking style duck that we're going to do in a mm. Peking style roasted. So it's nice and lacquered with maltose and soy and then steam buns and hoisin and cucumber scallion on the side. And Incredible. Then, yeah. And also for the bites that we're going to do during the cocktail hour, we really wanted to focus on the Chinese and Korean Lunar New Year food traditions. Cool. Uh, so since it's the year of the rabbit, we're doing a chicken and rabbit spring roll. And then also from the Korean side, we're going to do something called duk sanjak, which is a rice cake and beef skewer that's typically found on tables during Korea New Year. That's incredible. So we have to wrap here uh, in just a second, but really quickly, is all benefits a charity. Which charity is that? Yeah, so it's called River Roundup Ranch, and it's up in the mountains, and it's for kids that really need a place to uh, get some help, act like regular kids, and, you know, be like all of us. But they're awesome and that inspires us. 
Oh, I love that. Uh, food with heart as well. Incredible food with heart. Hey, there it looks like I just heard that there was only a couple of tickets left for tomorrow's event, correct? Yep, we have so 20. You, 20. Or 15, 15 or 20 something. Ooh, so you guys better get your hands on it real quick. Oh because my gosh. It's going to sell out. Yeah, no kidding. Cheryl, <laughs> what an awesome live shot right there. They're doing good in the community and good food too. We appreciate you. All right, well, again, Troy yep. Gard and the Fried Rice Collective's uh, Feast from the East is happening right there on your screen, February 2nd at 6 p.m. You can grab tickets online at GardenGrace.com. Funds from this event go towards Roundup River Ranch in Colorado to provide children with life-threatening illnesses the, community, uh, the opportunity to experience the most extraordinary uh, joys in childhood and, you know, offering also medically supported camp programs as yeah, well. Sounds really Too good. Cool, yeah. yeah.